I've now gotten to know President Obama. I really like him. We have, I think I can say at least for myself, I can't speak for him, but we have a really good chemistry together. We talk. Uh, he, he loves the country. He wants to do right by the country and for the country. And I will tell you, we obviously very much disagree on certain policies and certain things, but uh, you know, I really like him as a person. I was and, fascinated and way, to read in your interview that you say you actually talked to President Obama about some of your possible appointments. I do. And the people you would surround yourself in the White House. Can you tell Correct. me specifically who you mentioned to President Obama that you were considering appointing? Well, I don't think that would be fair to him, but I have asked him what he would think of this one and that one. I've asked him what he thinks are the biggest problems of the country, what are some of the greatest assets going forward. And we have a very good dialogue. And, and I must tell you, you know, I never met him before this. and. I never spoke to him before this. I really, I do like him. Just, uh, I love getting his ideas, and I may differ. In, in many cases, I differ very greatly. Right, in many just cases, real quickly, the though. Opposite. In one of those cases where you went with him, went to him with a specific person you had in mind for an appointment, did you go with his recommendation? Uh, I would say that yes, I take his recommendations very seriously, and there are some people that I will be appointing, and in one case, have appointed where he thought very highly of that person, yes. President-elect Donald Trump, Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Matt.